Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby. What is good? What is popping? How's it going? Going swell? Hopefully. Good to hear. So for today's video, as you read the title, we are going to be trying a Bob Ross painting tutorial. Um, this video was not requested. I just want to do this for myself and I've been wanting to do it since the queen herself, Jenna Marbles, did it a couple of years ago. Rip Jenna Marbles YouTube. I will never get over this, but I wish her the best. But the selfish part of me wishes she was still here, but I digress. I love Bob Ross. He reminds me of the father I never had. We have his YouTube channel pulled up right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and sort through the videos and find a painting that I would love to recreate. You wanna say hi? This is my baby. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the sunset one. I think that Jenna Marbles actually did this exact painting. Let me take my gum out before I go to edit this video and realize I was slapping my lips the entire time. Also, I wanna give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Thank you so much, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. More about them in a sec. All right, I didn't think this through. I need like a, like a, like a painting thing to do this on, like a, a canvas, that's the word I've been searching for in this nugget of mine. Okay, so I have this big book with like painting paper. It is appropriately named my junk um, because you should see the art that I've made in this thing. Like, like this, whatever this is. The world does not need to see that. I really hope I don't run out of storage on this card because this is the only card that I have. And I'm on a deadline, baby. <sighs> I hate myself for being such a procrastinator. Most of my life issues would be solved if I just didn't procrastinate so much. Here is a, a painting of Phineas and Ferb in the style of American Gothic. Honestly, I'm kind of proud of this one. If anyone wants to buy this, comment down below, I'll sell it to you. And then we're met with some more Harry Styles drawings. Yeah, I was obsessed, guys. What are you gonna do? I'm still kind of obsessed. Here's another drawing that I thought was like so deep. All right, let's just get this freaking thing started. I'm having such a hard time staying on task. Is this too small, do you think? Okay, so here I have my huge thing full of paint. It has every color you could possibly think of. Take it away, Bob. Welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today. He's I just so sweet. It just has a lot of color in it, one that'll make you feel good inside. That's exactly so what I need. And run all the colors across the screen. Okay, here's the problem. I can almost guarantee I have none of the correct colors for this painting. Um, it has every color you could possibly think of. Um, titanium white. Okay, cool. White. Isn't titanium like not white? Fithalo blue. Sure. I'll just uh, take out my favorite blue color. I have my standard old 18 by 24 inch double prime pre stretched canvas. Same. Double primed uh, pre stretched canvas. Same. Glad we're on the same page. Prussian blue. What does that even mean? I don't know. I'm just gonna yoink out another blue. Cool. This is all Liquid white. If there's one thing I love about Bob Ross is the way he says white. White. I love it. I can't get enough. Let's we'll start with our little tiny two inch brush today. Our tiny two inch brush. Right. I don't have a tiny two inch brush, but I have one that's like kind of this size. So we're gonna go in with that. We're going to go right into a small amount of the Indian yellow. Indian yellow. Okay, well, I don't know what that means. This color looks similar, so we're going to go in with this. Just do something like that. Right, okay. All there okay. is to it, yellow. Okay, I'm already, I'm already behind. I'm already lost. Uh, here goes nothing. Oh, that looks already so bad. Oh, no. You know what? It's because I did not prime my freaking thing with white. We're just going to go in with white now. Okay, it turns out this brush is like the cheapest brush at the store and it's leaving little hairs all over my canvas and I'm not impressed. Um, but the show must go on. I'm actually gonna try with this, okay? You guys might think I'm like not gonna try, but I'm actually interested in creating some good Bob Ross art. Maybe if I didn't have such a jank setup, this would be a lot easier, but he's going a little too fast for me. He's moving a little too fast. Looks like he has some orange. Let me dig out my orange color. Come on, orange, show yourself. Found it. I'm a little bit stressed right now, and Bob Ross wouldn't want that, but I'm stressed out, kind of. We're switching brushes. We're gonna shift to one that's less prone to shedding. 
Yep, I, I, this is not, this is not necessarily looking great, guys. A little yellow ochre, it's sort of a golden color. Right, same, cool. There. Once right. again, without cleaning the brush, a little touch of the bright red. Hey, what's up, guys? Coming at you live, cosplaying as the yellow ochre color that you just saw. I'm going to take a moment now to talk about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro, hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's live classes where you can experience real time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. I have recently been following along the class by Marquez Brownlee called YouTube Success Script Shoot and Edit. In this course he teaches you how to film a great video, edit a great video, hook an audience, and grow your YouTube. And who doesn't want to do that? You know what I'm saying? I've really been enjoying all of his classes in this course and they've opened up my eyes and helped me figure out new ways to film, edit, and upload so that my audience will like my videos more, which is you guys. So, thank you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into painting. Gorgeous, gorgeous color, but it is so strong. Gorgeous, but so strong. Same, me too. Should I go in with Cardinal Crimson Brilliant? I don't really give a fuck actually. Oh. The paint farted. <laughs> Excuse you. One tube would turn the whole Atlantic Ocean red. Oh shit, I think I went a little heavy on the red. Oh well. That's pretty already. Shoot, I like that. Oh thanks. Okay, well our two, um, our two artworks here, mine and Bob's look nothing alike. So I'm just gonna take a moment to uh, get my shit together. Um, okay, well I'm trying my hardest <laughs> to make this look like uh, Bob Ross's, but this is not working out. Yeah. <sighs> As he says himself, there's no such thing as mistakes, only happy accidents. I can only imagine that's what my mom said when I was conceived. But we're just gonna move forward. We're gonna move forward, guys. Let's do this. Mine is looking nothing like his. I guess if you like squint one eye, squint the other eye, hide behind a tree at night on a foggy night, and then have a really good imagination, ours could look similar. Yeah, um, just let it play. First of all, why does my paint look like a loogie? Ew. 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 What the hell? Ew. That gave me the heebie-jeebies. Let me catch up, Bob. So he's working with this, like, deep purpley color. I'm, like, not ready. I'm not ready, dude. I just want to sort of dance this around a little bit. Uh, just oh. let it play and bounce. All right. Uh, like he said, we're just going to dance it around. Let it play and bounce. I definitely think I made mine way too dark, actually. Let's lighten that up a little bit. Okay, so I turned the camera off for a second and I decided to try to make it look better and turns out I just made it look worse. So we're just gonna move forward. Exactly what Whatever. I'm doing. I suck. In layman terms, that's called laziness. <laughs> oh, I'm so there. familiar with that feeling. Okay, well, our two canvases look nothing alike, but you know, that's the beautiful thing about life, right? I'm trying to turn this into like a life lesson. I, I don't think this is the time. It just sort of floats around, has a good time all day. That's what I want to be. A big cloud that just floats around and has a good time all day. So his technique, as always, is just him putting the brush on the canvas and it just looks good somehow. So we're just going to try to follow that technique. It hasn't proven success in the past, but we're going to try it. And don't just, don't just try to copy what we're doing here. No, I'm Sweet. not. <laughs> I couldn't if I tried. And that really is the beauty of all this. We the just beauty. put a little bit down in here. This is definitely a painting only a mother could love. Whatever. 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 I know like it's also kind of hard for you guys to see because my light is reflecting onto it. I guess I'm using that as an excuse. Guys, I think it might be coming together. I might be speaking too soon, but... Just caress the canvas a little. Mm. There we go. Have that bright red on there. Oh, you think? A little bit of white. Least, least little touch of the phthalo blue, maybe. Okay, well, my painting looks absolutely nothing like his. I mean... Not even like distant cousins. He's given me a little bit too much freedom. I get carried away sometime. 
You're getting a bit carried away, Bob. Now, maybe, I was about to say that. You, let's put a nice dark cloud in here. That contrast will okay. sparkle. That's bold. Okay, so he just put in a dark purple cloud, and honestly, I have to say I'm a little nervous. We're gonna follow his lead. Seems a little aggressive, but I'm putting my trust in you, Bobby. All kinds of things. That just ruined it. So, blender. thanks a lot, man. It's ruined my painting, because you wanted to tell me to put a dark cloud right in the middle. Read the room, my dude. There we go. Nope, not there we go. Ow. Just ran over my own toe with my chair. Things happening down here. Just take stop. It. You have to stop. Like, stop telling me to put more things everywhere because clearly I can't even get it right. Let them happen. No. The way we're only halfway through right now. Somehow. What else more is to add? <laughs> Let's take some. Pure Hold on. Maybe Pause. My world is falling apart. Maybe the sun lives right behind that big cloud there. No, oh, maybe it does. Some nah. white paint right into there. Yeah, right. Just to be very bright. I'm just going to go right over that and I'll put it back in if I decide I want it. Because we don't make mistakes. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> and that's where you're wrong. Getting a nice, gorgeous, bright spot in our painting when it's done. The contrast, it just jumps right out at you. <laughs> it's jumping out all right. Okay. There it is. There it is. We just there let it, it is. work right on the rim. I get excited when I see these. They turn me on. Play it back. I get excited when I see these. They turn me on. Am I interrupting something here? I'm sorry. Do I should I leave? I, this is literally a disaster. This rascal. Oh, so he's gonna put the purple on the no, bottom now. So yeah, let me just ruin this part of the painting too. Maybe we'll have a little mountain. Let's we. A mountain. I can't even figure out how to blend a sky together. Meanwhile, this guy's got me going. A mountain lives in the distance. Let me find my knife. Just take that me too, line. but for Get other reasons. Oh, we're doing mounds and trees. Okay. I'm so concentrated and like literally for what? Don't understand why I just, that just, what? I swear I'm like not this bad at art either, which is like so funny to me that I, I just like have a really hard problem following art tutorials. I, they lose me every time. I just don't know how to do it. All right, now we're going to go in with the trees. This tree does not look that bad. All right, this tree is probably the best thing about this painting thus far. A couple of trees live right there. Uh, they sure do. There's three. A lot of nice bushy areas. Really and truly, you can just put in a fantastic sky. Very easy, very right. quick. Right, very easy, very there. quick. We'll See, that's really misleading because this was not very easy, not very quick, not very calming. So just like wondering what time of year Same is this painting? Because I think I'm putting snow on the trees right Something now. Like it. Oh shoot, he put like a whole grass line. What if I just didn't do that? Like I think this is my Little finished clock painting. Clock call it a day. I agree. I've certainly enjoyed our time together. Yeah, but same. I hope you tried this one. <laughs> oh, I tried it. <laughs> I'd like to wish you a happy painting and God bless my friend. Um all right, we're done. Hey guys, I would love to present my rendition of Bob Ross's Sunset Aglow. Let me remove it from my artist's easel. As you can see here, I've included mountains, some trees, um, some clouds. I mean, it could be worse. It could be a lot better, but it could be worse. This paper has like barely any integrity left. It's so paint soaked that it's holding on for its dear life. That's cool. Now I have that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please subscribe if you like. Thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to see me on a daily basis being an idiot, follow me on Instagram at Abby Lucia. Betty's and cream, Betty's and cream. And that's all she wrote, folks. See you in the next one. I'm sorry, Bob Ross. If you're up there, if you're watching this, like, I'm sorry. I've done you dirty. I've done you dirty today. Please forgive me. Thank you.